a story that has a lot of you talking on social media. A two-headed alligator is spotted in the Hillsborough River. New at 6, our Bill Logan goes in-depth on whether this discovery is real. Epps Park is a beautiful slice of nature along the Hillsborough River, but it comes with warnings. Indeed, the signs here say beware of gator, but it mentions nothing about being on the watch for a two-headed one. No one ever bothered to think about that until Justin Arnold posted pictures of this discovery online over the weekend and even got front page coverage in the local tabloid. I don't know about this. I'm pretty dubious. But here in our newsroom, jaded journalists jumped in to say, wait, we can check this. I don't know. It just doesn't seem quite real, but um, I will keep searching and see what we can find. And we kept searching, too, for experts who could tell us if this was a plausible possibility. Two-headed animals do exist, uh, and snakes and turtles and certain uh, exotics. They are quite rare, though. Bob Potts in the exotic reptile business for two decades knows that the double header produced when a splitting embryo stops part way is a valuable find, but... Uh, my only doubts are that, you know, for an animal to go undetected for so long is highly doubtful. He thinks this might be a fake, feet not quite touching the ground in an odd tail position were his clues. Calls to the FWC and local herpetology clubs confirmed what he surmised. It could be, you know, with uh, today's social media, everybody's looking for their 15 minutes of fame. So it, it would not be on, you know, the reasonable doubt that somebody might try to pull off this hoax. Maybe that's why the photographer, Mr. Arnold, declined our request for an interview, preferring to lay low for a while. In Tampa, Bill Logan, ABC Action News.